Hi, this is Maciek uh, from DCX and I would like to show you how to fill the system. I mean, connect the dry cooler and the enclosure system and fill the uh, primary loop, so-called primary loop, with the water glycol mixture. And uh, I need to do it in just five minutes. So bear with me, I hope I will make it uh, because we're shipping that stuff in a moment to the customer. So uh, with the package, you will get the dry cooler, you will get the uh, enclosure and the filling pump, filling set. Uh, which is needed to uh, fill the whole system. And you will need uh, also the T-shaped uh, connector uh, somewhere, which should be used to fill the system. So first, what you need to do is you need to pre-cut the tubing between those two uh, components. So usually what you, what you will get is, the, uh, is you will place that dry cooler outside that must have the access to the fresh air, ideally on the north side, side of the building, so let's sun on that dry cooler, it will perform better. And uh, all you just need to uh, put some sunshade on the, uh, uh, over the dry cooler so it's, the sun is, doesn't directly operate on, uh, on it. Uh, as you can see, the dry cooler has integrated pump and that, that pump is circulating the fluid between the enclosure and the dry cooler. Uh, as you can see, we have demineralized water here. So this is what we will use to fill the loop between those two components. The, the electric, uh, kind of expensive, the electric fluid goes into the uh, enclosure and here only the mineralized water with the uh, mm, some amount of the additives, anti-corrosion, antibacteria, antifungus. Uh, so we'll not have any uh, problem with the uh, with that, uh, with that uh, system later. Uh, as you can see, there are two fittings on the dry cooler and two fittings on the brace plate heat exchanger on the enclosure. And the connection is very simple uh, and it's a very simple method. Bottom to bottom, top to top, right? Simple as that. And I have a very short amount of tubing. We provide uh, from 10 to 15 uh, meters of the, uh, uh, of the tubing. It's actually uh, 20 or 30 meters. Uh, so we can uh, put the enclosure up to 15 meters away from the dry cooler. And, uh, uh, and you will need to make sure you will not mix those tubing cans. So one of the good uh, pro tip uh, uh, I can give you is just to mark uh, two ends of the, of the tubing, bottom, bottom, B, B, T, T, top to top, all right? And this is, this is something which you, which you need, to, need to do to not mix, or you have help, some, someone will help you and just let you know that, yes, this is the one, right? So you're having C clamps already clamp, C clamps, whatever you call it. You are putting that on top of the, of the tubing. It will, uh, sometimes it, it takes some, some force. Sometimes you will need to, you know, to make it a little bit, uh, you, there is a very good method. I will do like this. It's not, it's, yeah, it's kind of gross, I know, but uh, it works actually. So you do like, doing like this, connecting that one. And you need to put it on the bottom fitting. So the same procedure. I don't know, simple methods are always always the best. And you're just placing it very at the at the at the very end of that of that fitting. So it's kind of you know you need to, to do it on force. You need to push it a little bit, but. Nothing, nothing really, uh, nothing really um, what, uh, what you will not be able to do it. And bear with me for a quick sec. Yeah, we did it. You need to make sure that the, I might get red. You need to uh, make sure that the end of the uh, tubing goes until the, until the very end to the fitting. And secondly, uh, kind of important, if you are cutting the tubing, like I'm doing here, you need to make sure that the cut is straight, that you don't have, you know, some edges, you don't have, you know, uh, angled kind of, uh, uh, cut. You need to have it, uh, to do it straight, and you can do it the multiple ways. The one way is you will use a special cutting tool, which allows you to shoot, allow you to cut it in the proper way. There you go, straight cut. Or you can just, you know, don't care about that one, really. And you can just use the uh, simple, uh, simple knife 
and just cut it. But just make sure that you are, you are doing it, it correctly. You know, it doesn't. It's, it's not really it's not rocket science, right? So simple as that. So uh, we will uh, having we will repeat that procedure in a moment. Bear with me for a quick sec, and you will have that connection done in the very moment. Okay, guys. So I uh, I see I managed to catch my breath and you know connect all the all the hoses. There's one part missing. We basically deliver something which is uh, called filling set, and it's a simple you know T-shaped uh, connector with the uh, hose fittings at the very end of those of those connectors. And uh, what you need to do is you need to connect that in line with the with the tubing, and uh, we'll do it uh, on the. Uh, uh, outlet side from the regular so we will connect that to the bottom part of the regular so we're basically that putting in that in line it means that we are putting it here on that bottom part as always pay attention to uh, close it to the very end and then connecting the one part of the tubing here simple as that and then just using our tools to you know make sure that it's, it fits correctly, right? There you go. And here I have a better clamp, so. There you go, sir. We have everything connected here. And what you need to use finally is the pressure pump, which is a very simple tool, but very efficient, which allows us to, you know, connect everything. Now we have the you have the uh, handle which you're putting here and you have the house from it which you connect to yes that is true you are taking another part of the tubing cutting it it doesn't have to be long just you know quite quite short There you go. Taking, it, taking that part and you place it in the same way here on the fitting and on the other side on that fitting, right? Simple as that. And that connection, of course, you're rem remembering about the, all the clamps. And this is temporary. That part is temporary. You will just use it for fitting after the uh, everything. You are just uh, controlling, uh, you're closing the, that loop and you are fine, all right? Simple as that. Now, since you connected everything, so you use your clamps, you connected the, the tubing on both sides, then uh, you are, what you do is you are putting the, the electric fluid inside of the, of the connector, inside of the... Uh, of the yep, uh, you're taking the demineralized water Now, uh, when you have everything assembled, uh, so pressure pump is, uh, is connected to the loop, then you are taking the demineralized water, which it's not expensive, very cheap to, to, to buy at the local shops. You are putting that into the box, and the dry cooler will, just, just as an example, the dry cooler will take, uh, let's say, 20 liters. Uh, of those and the loop will take an uh, additional 10 liters if that's, if that's fully extended. So you yeah, are just using uh, that one. And you should add also to the, uh, depending on when, what is your location, if you have cold season, you should add either half of that bottle or uh, full amount of that bottle, right? I will not, uh, not put it here, but you, you, you get the point. Now, you are, have two valves, valve, valve one closer to the manometer and valve, valve two. Uh, uh, a little bit away, and you have the manometer, which you need to reset. There is a red, there is a red uh, mm, uh, arrow here, so you need to reset that, so you know what, what, what pressure you are operating with. And you need to close uh, both valves. I will put a little bit more of the fluid here, of the demineralized water here. There are some questions sometimes if we should use not water but the same fluid. No, actually the water has better properties in terms of the heat transfer. So we are closing the 
uh, both valves, uh, 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 and then you will need to operate uh, to open valve one. And let's work on the valve one. I'm closing in counterclockwise. Counter you can see this. It's and the uh, uh, it's, it's open actually, and the valve uh, two must be closed. Now it's open because you see that when I'm just operating the, the handle, the fluid is flashing here. Is uh, is uh, is the fluid goes from from that valve? So I'm closing it. Also, now what I'm doing is I'm opening the uh, valves here. I need to open all the valves in the in the system. So there is a valve. There is valve, there is valve, there is valve, right? So you need to open the, uh, those valves. And there is a very important component, which is, uh, which is uh, vent, uh, vent release. So you need to, you'll be using that to release remaining, uh, remaining uh, water, uh, remaining air, which can be trapped in the system. If you have the, any option to do that, you can put that regular on, the, on that side. So you can just put it on the side. So uh, you basically move the air from the, all those tiny coils inside to the to the one part, and then uh, and then you you putting it up to be able to release that uh, from the uh, from the system. So you are connecting everything, and uh, that ju just just an example. But you're connecting everything, and then and then when you when you close the valve one, now. Uh, you need to open the valve one. If you cannot, you know, push that handle, it means that the valve one, uh, vol valve one is uh, closed. You need to open that, and now you're allowing the the flow to go to the to the system. So you're opening that one, and then you are filling the system until on the manometer you will see 20 bars. You need to pay attention because this this megapascals, PS, psi, and bars. You need to make sure that you you are counting. Uh, uh, bars, which is the uh, the uh, biggest, uh, the uh, most far away uh, metrics here, and the hoses have uh, ability to take up to 20 bars. So you not should over uh, overreach that, right? And uh, that's working pressure. Maximum pressure is higher, but still uh, we we should not push uh, even further, even further. And then you are just pushing the fluid inside of the system. Uh, you should observe wh when you are with the with the pressure. And then if you feel that the tubes are, let's say, stiff and they full of full of fluid, full of water, then you may need to open that small valve here. There we go, sir. Uh, you need to open that one, right? You need to open that one using some some, some wrench ideally to re release the the air. And there is also one thing you need to remember: you may need to release the air from the uh, from the um, pump also, so that silver screw is allowing you if you are a screw deck that during the operation of the pump on the speed free. So speed free is here. Uh, during the operation of, uh, uh, of the pump, in, if you are unscrewing that one, you are basically uh, able to uh, to release the air. So you will see some air, some bubbles going out with the water. If the, if the water is flowing here, it's fine. Just just wait a little bit to, for, for the air to go to come out, and then just uh, connect everything uh, together, and you are more or less done. Uh, with the uh, releasing the air from the system. That's, that's kind of important if you will hear that the water is uh, kind of, uh, uh, if the pump is uh, going hot, if the pump is starting to um, generate noise, you will see the difference between the pump is running the air and pump is running the, uh, the fluid. So you need to release all the air here and all the air from the system here. You may need to repeat that procedure a few times because at the, at the very, very end you need to release all the air trapped within the system. But after a few times it should be, you know, it should run perfectly without any, you know, problems. We have uh, multiple Dracula's delivered to our customers we, and they are running that without any, you know, issue. So uh, I failed miserably at, at explaining that in the five minutes, but maybe after the post-processing, uh, my, uh, my, my colleagues will help me, you know, to, to reach my goal. Thank you for, uh, for um, listening. Uh, I hope that it was informative. Stay tuned with, with us and uh, uh, and uh, we'll show you how the immersion system works. Cheers.